The following is a presentation of The Day. It's a battle of champions, live from Alumni Hall on the campus of Moa Tree Academy. The last two champions of the ECC, the Division II St. Bernard Saints, on the road here tonight at the Division I champion NFA Wildcats, and it's all live on game day. Game day is brought to you by Waterford Dental Health. Waterford Dental Health voted the number one best dental practice six years in a row by the day's best of the best Reader's Choice Awards. Casey O'Neill along with the sports doctor Keith O'Brien and Sports Doctor, we got it. We got ourselves a battle of the last two champions. champions. Yeah, the the, the test. Uh, the NFA comes in 0-1. They lost an opening night to New London in the tight, tight ball game. Casey snapping their 23-game winning streak. And St. Burns, their first game of the season. And a, this is a very, very good test for both these teams in reality. You know, NFA with a game under their belt. And for St. Burns, their first game of the season. Hard to believe, but we're going to call it the veteran. St. Bernard Saints, as, yeah. as they're going to bring back a lineup that features all kids that played and started last year with Frank Pacheco and Walter Belarjan and Walker Belarjan rather and Cedric Similian, Tyson Wheeler. These were all kids in that on that team last year. They lost Big Nate Avery, but they're bringing back the other four. And NFA, on the other hand, some new pieces. Yeah, new pieces, and you know, Coach Mark Jones has got to rely on his guard play. You know, with Pacheco and little Tyson out there as well. Early on, NFA in a little bit of a 3-2 zone. Cross court it goes. Three is off the rim and a beautiful bounce for Belarjan. And first points of the game go to the Saints. Yep, little drive and kick. Set up shop in the corner, knock down the three ball. Walker Belarjan, brought out a good career here. Hunter. Saints come out man to man. Of course, NFA wants to get the ball right there into that man's hands, Jared Martin. We'll keep an eye on Jared Martin this year, Casey. How much of the load does he have to carry without Mason Jackson in the lineup? And if you want to look at a player to watch, folks, there it is right there. Mm. Jared, it was Ryan Outlaw is only a sophomore. Big, big body and a beautiful shooter's touch there under the basket. Another three from Belarjan's no good. Rebound comes out. And a fail push. Martin, no good, follow under the rim, battled out low. There's nice. Wheeler pulls up for three, no good. NFA Casey with the size advantage on the boards with out low. And strong three that time, and Pierre Luigi goes up and gets it. And puts it back for two. Saints are going to have to figure out. They've gotten good looks, but someone's going to have to knock down some threes. Open up that zone. There's a steal. Grover Boone high in the air. Can't finish the layup. Good defense by Similian coming Side the other way. Here. Wheeler drives. Floater. No good. Strong rebound. And the putback from Belarjan. Good action early. Both ends. Both teams feeling each other out a little bit. Straight up man to man here by the Saints. Chris Juicy, of course, the mask matches the suit. Little pick and roll, Outlaw finds himself trapped and will get tied up in the paint. Possession arrow favors NFA, so we'll keep it there. You see the bit of the inexperience by Outlaw. He kind of takes that ball right into the middle of the double team, keeps that ball down low. Maybe develops his game a little bit, pulls up from about seven, eight feet, shoots that jump shot. Pacheco doing a great job hounding Martin. There's a three short underneath. Tipped out of bounds, it'll stay NFA's basketball. Chris Juicy, you said the best dressed coach in the, in the league. Absolutely, and you know, the mask, yeah. perfect, perfect with a tie and the belt. And, you know, I, I'm proud of him. I'm going to have to ask him about the shoes, though. I wanted red shoes. Pierre-Louis, a little hook from down under. Can't get it to go, and Wheeler will push. Nice zip pass. Belarjan misses the left-handed layup and will come the other way now. Martin running for NFA behind the back. 
out low from the foul line. I like that shot, though. And it'll be knocked out of bounds. It'll stay NFA ball. They almost called Ryan Marcus for a minute there. He's just, you know, he looks like his older brother a little bit, you know? Marcus out low. Yes, sir. Ryan Marcus, of course. Yeah, he's, 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 not, yeah, not no, his brother. There's no one. No. That's not true. I I'm almost sure, called I'm Ryan sure Marcus. I'm sure there's a Ryan so Marcus. Yeah, yeah, somewhere. Great defense by Pacheco. There's Martin spins in the lane, gets fouled to go to the line to shoot two. And that's a great move by Martin, but you got to love Pacheco getting right up in his grill. Yeah, one thing that you're seeing here in the first, say, three and a half, four minutes of this game is that St. Bernard's is going to make Martin work for everything, whether he's dribbling the ball at the top of the key, whether he's going to the basket trying to put up a shot. He is going to demand a lot of attention from Pacheco. He's going to be passed off. He's going to have to work his tail off. And I think that's the... And we have a substitution into the game for NFA. JJA. Hey. You know what? That is JJ I, Hay. That's right. It's, it's not Larry Bird. It's not Larry Bird. We, we talked about this became, before the game. Became my favorite name in the ECC. Right. Immediately. Right. There is a future three-point call to be had. I pray he knocks one down. <laughs> St. Bernard's, in case you're going to have to find a way to crack this zone, extra pass to the wing. Pacheco, top of the key, knocks it down. There you go. That's textbook. Ball goes into the high post, turn around, kick it back out, get a clean look. Frank Pacheco, senior. Um, nifty move by Martin, wanted the call, couldn't get it. Out low, though, there it is. Puts it on the floor, shouldn't have. Pacheco comes up the other way, tries to draw the body, but instead the left-hand layup goes. Yeah, had a great job that time by Pacheco to try to get a little space with a little nudge at the rim, get off me. For two. Yeah, that's a heads up God, play. Good ball player, boy. That's senior right there. That is a senior against a sophomore. Martin drives, ties up, but a foul on the floor. But you know, the big difference, we asked what's the difference of Jared Martin last year versus Jared Martin this year? And the big difference is last year, he got to sit out on the wing. Yeah. Other people like Mar like Xavier Marquez or, or Mason Jackson yeah. kick out, and he could be a spot shooter, but instead, um, he's got to create his own offense. Yeah, Martin's getting a little frustrated and a little chippy right now, too. He just, uh, you know, Chris Juicy's going to talk to him, talk to the refs a little bit. Is it a mass break or is it a timeout? A mass break. Mass break. Okay, there you go. Mass break. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You're watching Game Day Live, day.com. best virtual fan section. Will you send us a photo on Facebook or Twitter at Game Day CT, and we will include you in the broadcast. So show us, where's your COVID cave? Where are you hanging out? Where's your quarantine city? We want to see the best fan section at home. Now, Peter, I believe we do have a previous. Last week, we wanted to try to get it up, but we couldn't uh, We couldn't get it. For, but here we go. There Last, go. There's it from the New London NFA game. Cassidy White's got a cousin rocking the basketball already. So if you want to see a shout out and get a, your picture on. You know, the big thing too, when you watch Pacheco on Martin, there's no space. He's not giving him any space to operate. You know, and, and that time was a four shot. NFA working hard, but St. Bernard's after every single loose ball. Pacheco couldn't find the handle on it and bounces it out of bounds. Well, we don't see that a lot anymore in the game, Casey. We don't see that ball pressure, that take away the space, because we, you know, the game is all about spacing now, three-point line and spacing. But when you can get a good defender and get in somebody's grill, that can really, really disrupt their rhythm and flow. Pierre-Louis to the basket, can't get it to go. Strong rebound and a push by Belarjan coming the other way. St. Bernard's with numbers. Floater by Belarjan, short. And a fail push the other direction now with Martin. Dump underneath the Benoit, kick back out to Martin. There's the straightaway shoot, short. That was the straightaway shot he's been looking for. Good look, it's a good look. A little off balance, but a good look. He had space, took, pulled the trigger. I think that's the way to, to beat that defense. Belarjan can't knock it down. Hay pushes ahead, Martin left. But the follow is good from Pierre-Louis. Martin wanted a foul. 
A timeout by NFA. Gonna get 30 a second timeout. That was quick. So, what I think is important to, to note, we were talking about this versus last year, right, where Martin got to be a pull-up shooter. I think in order to break this man, you're going to have to have someone else attack the rim with some, with some dribble penetration Driving passes kick. and let Martin mm. spot up, or you're going to have to run some screen and roll, pick and rolls. I, I think that Outlaw How about get him off the ball? Yeah, well, I think Outlaw showed us enough. Right. Have him come up and set the high screen and Ma let Martin roll out and let the do the roll off the screen yeah. because Ma Pacheco is the smallest guy on the floor. If, sure. they, if they switch, now you've got Outlaw rolling yep. with Pacheco. I think you're just going to have to, because right now Martin just can't, just can't try to beat everybody off the dribble. You're, when your team's best scorer is handling the ball a lot, it's tough too. And if he's patient in that little 3-2 zone right now. Pacheco foregoes the three, kicks it. Shot no good. A little nickel dimer there on, uh, on Martin over the back of Belarjan. A little, a little cheapy. A play on in my opinion. Yep, Jaden Francis back into the ball game, replacing Hay. Call it the momentum foul, you know, momentum coach. So you can tell the Saints' first game of the year. The shooting's, yep. been, a shooting's been a little disappointing, not knocking him down. Outlook was not buying on that pick and roll. Nice defense that time. Oh, good look, Pierre Louis to Benoit for the basket underneath. Nice vision. Jason Benoit, six foot one, senior forward. I really like to see the Saints try to create a yeah, pass to beat this instead of just shooting threes. Not the you can't go diagonal through the three two. Yeah, it's got to go to the high post. High post has got to turn and face, kick to the wings. I'd like to see a nice, like a nice two one two, which is what they're trying to run right now. But right now they're yeah. matching at three. Get get Tyson needs, uh, needs to get down. He needs to get yep. down farther, and these guards need to spread themselves more so that they can get some more space. Very hard with Pierre Louis there. He's six foot five. He's got a wingspan. He's a good spot in that zone. It is. So they have to get wider. Mm. St. Bernard's got to get wider, do more, get more space. Right now, they're all bunched up. They're not, they're not challenging the three-two at all. High ball screen. Nice swing. Wheeler. Extra pass there by Wheeler. Pacheco lobs into the corner. Dangerous against the zone. Yeah, they're, they're, they're struggling with this right now. There's a nice drive, and Pelarjan can't get it to go down and out of the pack. Benoit, they'll push with Grover Boone. Lob, Pierre-Louis, athletic for two. Boone to Pierre-Louis. Got six points by Pierre-Louis. running the floor and got rewarded the big man at the rim for two. Swinging it around the perimeter right now. St. Bernard's too content, too content with the outside. Wheeler pulls up three. No good, strong rebound underneath by Odin Malls, and he's going to get fouled, and he'll shoot two. Good work by the sophomore. One of the things St. Bernard's looking to do is replace the size of Nate Avery from last year. He was such a big body and such a presence for them last year, and they're going to try to trot out a couple of different guys. Odin Malls being a nice example of length that the St. Bernard's need match up with the size of NFA. One more for Malls. The rim's not being very forgiving for either team. Now Martin will have it, 24 seconds. Clock needs to run, and it wasn't. So NFA will, will maintain possession. But they're going to run the, and now the scoreboard went off. Well, this would be a good opportunity to tell you that game day is brought to you by Watered for Dental Health. Voted the number one best dental practice six years in a row by the day's best of the best Reader's Choice Awards. And as always, you want to follow us on Twitter or Facebook at Game Day CT. Let us know where you're watching the game from. Send us in your pictures. Let us know who you're rooting for. Anything at all on our social media at Game Day CT. And if you're watching live right now, let us know. Tell us who you're rooting for. 
Inbound to Martin. 20 seconds and counting now. He'll try to take the last shot of the quarter. Grover, Boone, and Martin. Now under 10 seconds, they're going to try to do a clear out. There's the high screen from Outlow. Martin gets another screen, rolls off of it, pulls up three. No good, tipped around, and Pacheco will rebound. Long one, no good. We're at the end of one. Join us for second quarter action. You're watching Game Day Live on the day.com. Okay, class. What do you want to be when you grow up? Jace. I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be a ballerina. I want to be an astronaut. I want to be homeless. I want to hear scary voices no one else can hear. I want to be addicted to drugs. I want to be an actress. I want to be a YouTuber. Not one child has dreams of these things becoming a reality. Sometimes choices are set before we even have a voice. With Sound Community Services, I found my voice. We're back and we're 12-10 at the end of the first period, and the sports doctor is going to talk with St. Bernard's' Mark Jones. All right, Coach. Coach, first quarter, game one of the year. Offense struggled a little bit, 12-10. What was the message in the, in the, in the break? Uh, I mean, I'm not worried about the offense. We just got to move the ball, all right? And uh, the biggest thing was our turnovers, and we're not rebounding the ball well. So we got to sure that up. All right, good, good luck, Coach. Thank you. Uh, Pacheco tried to zip it down for Brassall, but he couldn't get it, knocked it out of bounds, and it'll be NFA's ball. Pierre-Louis spins. Nice move, but can't finish. But Pierre-Louis got the footwork down. He's just got to be able to finish around the basket. Now Wheeler. Coach says we got to move the basketball in between quarters. Well, yeah, they got to move the basketball. But it's more than it just can't be around the perimeter. You got to threaten the middle of the. You got to threaten the middle. Okay, he's calling for it right now. Diagonal and then somebody into onto the yep. on the elbow. There's a nice zip underneath. Belarjan knocks it down. That's a great look from Pacheco. First quarter, game one, Casey. NFA's got a game under their belt. You know, this is... Oh, boy, how is it? Oh, it was a little bit of a flop from Brassaw right. and, you know, and from Brassaw, and Outlaw doesn't take much to knock you over. But Mark Jones is a very, very intense coach, though. He is, uh, is hands-on. High back up top it goes. The drive and a bank shot. From number zero, Pierre he's Louis. Tough, he's tough to guard because he is six foot five. He can jump over anybody on the St. Bernard's roster, and to get him a little bit of airspace, you get that touch, and he can finish at the rim. He saw him running the floor, Casey, and you see him there pulling up at about seven feet. Similian and Pacheco at the top. Wheeler now running baseline. Diagonal. Wheeler. Similian drives. Hard off the glass, no good, tipped around. Up ahead it goes to Martin, ahead of the pack. Behind the back to Pierre-Louis. Basket is good, and the foul on Pacheco, and he'll go to the line for the bonus. Uh, big man's running the floor, and he's got active legs, and he is getting rewarded and eating well here tonight at the academy. He's got 10 points right now, and everything seems to be on the move right now for Max, Mad Max. Uh, I think right there is the solution that NFA needs most on how to get points, which is to run off of trans and get into transition immediately. They've got the size. That 3-2 is bothering St. Bernard's. Get it and go. Right, that's a leak out, too. Martin's leaking out. He's in anticipating the, you know, the run out. NFA's on a little 7-2 run to start this quarter. 
And again, we, you know, points are not coming easy right now for the Saints. They are really struggling to crack this zone. Check that five to two run. Villarjan goes baseline. And we're gonna get a blocking foul on Francis as Villarjan had a step toward the baseline and he kind of bumped them. So the Saints will have it underneath. Let's take a look at that basket from Pierre Louis. There's a nice behind the back. And like yep, you said, good the finish. Out there. Yeah, strong. Yeah, strong finish. Can jump, finish. Speaking of finishes, Similian under the basket. You know, check that. It's the sophomore Cedric Similian. I like the mm. alliteration. The sophomore Cedric Similian. Martin blocked. Saints got a push. Wheeler behind the back spin. Got numbers. Yeah, you got to take advantage got, of that. You've got to get your Pump fake, Pacheco drives, kicks, Belarjan for three, no good, high off the rim. But look at the athleticism of Similian. He can't get it to go. But right there, finishing it up and going to go to the line is Brassaw. Boy, a lot of the guys just uh, hanging around for the Saints at the rim and just working hard and getting rewarded. Corbett Brassaw. I'll tell you what, the athleticism of, of Similian uh, is is really his meal ticket. Mm. You know, he can he can get up there by the rim. He's the you got only two of them out there. You, yeah, he's got to have to go against you know Max Pierre Louis. Said a lot of the shooting, a little you know, little rust on the shooting in the early going. The Saints right now a little, a little hard on the iron. One more more one more <laughs> free throw for the junior. Short. Foul shot there. That's a free throw. Pacheco on the floor, ties it up, gets it to Belarjan, drives baseline. We're going to get a blocking foul. I really like how Walker Belarjan attacks the basket. You, know, you talked about you know this in the first game we did with the London girls. A scorer. He's got a scorer's mentality. He'll pull up and shoot the ball from three. You know, stick it on the floor and he'll go to the rim. Walker is a senior this year. You know, these Saints are still, again, trying to figure out what their identity is, too, playing against, you know, the Division I champs. First game of the season. You see how much of a difference a guy like Nate Avery had just from the big body that he, that he had last year. Civilian drives. Goes up over Outlow. Can't finish it, though. Pacheco so quick on the floor. Nope. Pierre-Louis up ahead. Martin leaked. Pump fakes and he misses the layup, gets his own rebound and puts it back. Oh yeah, I'll say this though, they, NFA can't guard Smillion. He can put it on the floor, he can get to the rim at will. You know, find that young man on the baseline, let him do some work out there. You know, I don't know in the ECC if there's a more difficult name to have to live up to than to be Tyson Wheeler Jr. <laughs> uh, but this Tyson Wheeler right now, this is where he needs to have. He needs to have the ball <laughs> in his hands. He's got great court vision. He's got to be able to be a playmaker right mm. now and pulls it up and knocks now down the triple. On cue. On cue. You want to see him to be more of a facilitator too, right? I do. I want a little addition and swishing, a little, little bump of driving out there. Yeah, he's not best suited standing around the, uh, you know, underneath. He's not best suited just standing around passing the basketball. He needs to facilitate to try mm. to get, you know, hit the cutter. He's got great court vision. There's one thing that he picked up from his father. His father oh, had remarkable court vision. Let's take a look at your out-of-town scoreboard. New London with an 18-14 lead, about six minutes left in the first half against Ledger. And early going, Waterford and Bacon Academy at the end of one. 11-9, I believe that was a grand slam in the bottom of the sixth inning mm. that put Waterford on top 11-9 at the end of one. Quietly, NFA opens up a little bit of a four-point lead, and we have a yeah. mask break. So while we have a mask break, we're going to send it away. We're going to send it away, bring it back in 30 seconds. You are watching Game Day live on theday.com. At The Day, our journalists are in your community, talking with business owners, attending town meetings, analyzing data, talking to government leaders, reporting on the issues that matter most to you. Since 1881, we have been serving our community and will continue to do so seven days a week, 365 days a year. 
Never miss a day of news. Enjoy convenient home delivery right to your doorstep, seven days a week. Subscribe at theday.com slash membership. We're, now we're back. Now, Sports Doctor, they say coaches never stop coaching, even in, even when you're not in season. I just received a text from Jason Bakulis, the NFA football coach, and his response was, uh, you know, uh, Max is a receiver, so he better be able to run that floor the entire night and even some more uh, running on the turf. So he's just like... Better be able to run the floor. So he's getting a look, look at one of his players out there. Jason, thank you for the kind words as always. <laughs> Max is going, coach, Yeah. <laughs> come on, I'm on a different, different season. Yeah. Turf, the hard word, an athlete's an athlete. And this kid here is an athlete. Funny no thing is I can, I can hear Coach Bakulis barking it at him too. <laughs> I yeah. can, can hear him say that. A little two-man game here. Let's see what they can produce out of this. There's the high screen that I like. They're swinging Hay on the baseline off the high screen. Pull up from Hay, back iron, and we're gonna get out low over the back. So it looks like maybe a little two-man game over on one side. So Max will come up and set the high screen for Martin, then Hay comes around, and I don't know if that's supposed to be a three-point shot in the corner, but at least there seems some, some sort of a set offense here from NFA. What I'd like to see Martin do is I'd like to see him drive his man into the screen mm. and not float around it because when yep. he floats around the screen, mm. he allows his guy to either jump it or sag he behind it, behind and he's not going to shoot a 30-foot foot three-pointer. No. So you got to drive your guy into the screen a little bit so that otherwise the screen's really not effective. Yeah, and then you have Max can open up and go to the bucket, or you can kick the ball out for three. NFA will retain four-point lead here, two and a half remaining. Of course, you're watching game day live on the day.com on the early season, our first boys basketball action of the young season. You know, it's really something, Casey, because last year when we saw NFA, they were 23 and 0. You know, and uh, Coach Juicy talked about, you know, the first couple preseason games they had, they played against McCainan and, you know, they got buried. But, you know, hey, for the corners, but they figured it out pretty quick and what they were going to have in a team. So and I think he's trying to figure that out now with no preseason games. There's Francis knocking it down, three-pointer, and that puts them up now. Biggest lead of the game for them at seven. You know, to, to your point, Sports Doctor, uh, they do. They have to they, I mean, they have to incorporate a whole set of new players. And you know what? We talk so much about Mason Jackson. I think the most underrated player, perhaps, in the entire ECC was Xavier Marquez. Marquez. Yeah. Xavier Marquez yeah. was, the, was the perfect high school guard. He was tough as nails. He was the identity of the team in terms of their, their defense and their toughness. He could rebound, and he became a very good three-point shooter. Yeah. So when you had Marquez with the ball, hmm. Martin on the wing, and, and Jackson on the wing, I mean, they were impossible to guard. So you know, everyone talks about replacing a Mason Jackson, and let's also be clear that right now NFA is playing without Connor Ulrich, who's right. out. So, that's, you know, right now the only guy on the floor that saw any real time for them is, in fact, Martin. I mean, Pierre-Louis played some and stuff, but it was really Martin. So I, I know replacing Jackson's impossible, but honestly, I think Xavier Marquez might have been the most underrated player in the entire league. Yeah, he was, a, he was a glue guy, too. He was a glue guy, and he, he, just, he was a high-energy player um, and, a, and a leader, too, I think. Well, football guy, you know. Yeah, another football guy, yeah. Coach Bakulis, if you're listening, good job. Because I do believe that the mentality <coughs> of football, where he was a where he was a defensive back, and sure. a, you know, and he was a, a, a hard hitter, tough player. I think that's how he played basketball, and I think that set the tone, the identity for NFA. Samillion to the basket, and we're going to get a charge. Nice job holding his ground is Jaden Francis. So knocks a three down on one end, takes a charge on the other end, and NFA with a chance to extend. Hard to believe, but they could, you know, make this a, a double-digit yeah, yeah. lead. It was a two-point game at the end of the first quarter. It was 12-10. Oh, great work by Pacheco. Well, Picking he it can from get your grow, can he? Belarjan with a little two-man game with Wheeler. I thought he was fouled, but instead, good defense, Similian. Kicks it, Bellarjan again misses the left. Similian there for the putback. And the Saints are working. A little lunch pail play there, Casey. That's what they need to get them back in this game. A little bit of back and forth. Pacheco is a handful out there on the defensive end. He's harassing Martin. Martin spins, floater. 
No good, maybe got a piece. Pacheco's gonna look to run though, he doesn't have the numbers. Stutter steps, swings it, Similian for three. Got it! Well, there you go, offense off of defense, back-to-back -back possessions. They got a you know, second chance scoring opportunity, they create a turnover off the miss, they come running, they knock down a big time three. And just like that, Casey, you're talking about double digits? It's a two-point game. Back down to two because yep. of the sensational sophomore, Cedric Similian, scintillating when he plays out there. He got the athleticism to get to the basket, stepped back, knocked mm. down the three. Mm. But we just saw something from St. Bernard's they haven't done yet, which I think they should be doing a lot more of. Pressing? Yes. I th well, the part of it is depth. We don't know how much depth they have. But, and it's their first game, so we don't yeah. know how much wind they have. But I think with the athleticism of Similian, the length of Bolarjan, uh, the heads-up nature of Wheeler, and the absolute tenacity of Pacheco, I think they can pressure NFA. Um, not necessarily a set press, but a pressure the basketball, you know, maybe a man trap kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah, Boone will have to step up and become the secondary ball handler, and Martin doesn't have it. Under a minute here in the half. Good game. Good game. Pierre Louis loses it. That's where you got to shoot that Similian, ball footer. One on one with Martin. No foul, no call. And it'll stay here. That was surprising that you didn't get a call of any kind. There was definite contact between Similian and Martin. Yeah, I thought it was a block on Martin. I didn't think he had good position right there. So Pinoit will check back in the game with 43 seconds remaining before the half. Wheeler will inbound. Into the corner, Similian gets himself into some trouble. And we're gonna get a pushing foul. We're gonna call pushing foul on Benoit, and that's gonna put Similian at the line to shoot two. He's a tough, tough cover there. Casey's got some good footwork. He's got a good, quick first step going to the rim. He is a handful. Ledger in New London tied at 26 with about a minute left in the first half. And UConn and Providence in a game that I would have found interesting about 10 years ago, 37-31 at the half. UConn's up? Yes, sir. There you go. Similian knocks it down. Eight points for Similian. All of his points coming here in the second quarter. Second one no good, but knocked around out of bounds, and it will be NFA basketball. We're going to get Outlow back into the ball game, replacing Hay. Boone with the basketball for the Wildcats, and I think they'll be content to take a shot here toward the end of the half. Up high, Francis. Now Martin will come over to take the ball and probably clear it out with Francis for a final shot. Wheeler is going to have the task of guarding Martin. Martin looking for the screen from Outlaw. Pull away, straight three, long, short off the rim. Rebound by the Saints. Can they get a shot off? And they won't be able to get one off. We're at halftime. 24-23. Here at halftime, and the sports doctor will have NFA head coach Chris Juisty, sports doctor. Well, coach, 24-23 uh, lead going into the locker room. Uh, what would you see in the first half that worked for your squad? Uh, well, I saw what nine months of not playing organized basketball <laughs> looks like. Uh, it's sloppy. Both teams are not uh, playing like they, they can. Uh, that's a really good team over there and uh, one of the best coaches in the state, in my opinion. So um, we're going to have to scratch and claw and, and really – make some adjustments in terms of what we do to take care of the basketball and make good decisions. All right, good luck in the second half, Coach. Thank you. All right, Sports Doctor, you're at halftime here at Norwich Free Academy, 24-23 NFA with the lead. Halftime stats and chit-chat coming back on the other side. You're watching Game Day Live on the day.com. Okay, class, what do you want to be when you grow up? Jace. I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be a ballerina. I want to be an astronaut. I want to be homeless. I want to hear scary voices no one else can hear. I want to be addicted to drugs. I want to be an actress. I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be an actress. I want to be a superpower. I want to be an actress. 
Not one child has dreams of these things becoming a reality. Sometimes choices are set before we even have a voice. With Sound Community Services, I found my voice. The Day strives to cover stories our readers care about. With a feature called Curious CT, we make it easier for you to tell us what you want to know about the people, places, and issues in Southeastern Connecticut. You submit a question, readers vote, and we investigate and report. Go to theday.com slash CuriousCT for more details. You ask, you vote, we investigate. At The Day, our journalists are in your community, talking with business owners, attending town meetings, analyzing data, talking to government leaders, reporting on the issues that matter most to you. Since 1881, we have been serving our community and will continue to do so seven days a week, 365 days a year. Never miss a day of news. Enjoy convenient home delivery right to your doorstep, seven days a week. Subscribe at theday.com slash membership. You know, scorers, when they're frustrated, sports doctor, need to stay relentless. And Jared Martin couldn't even get the layup to go, but he stayed with it. Top of himself, back. yeah. And that really was sort of, you heard Coach Juicy talk about scrapping and clawing. That's kind of indicative of the idea of scrapping and clawing because there was mm. no baskets that came easy for either team in that first half. And he was pretty candid about it, too. He said, you know, this is what nine months of not having organized basketball kind of looks like when you actually hit the floor. So, you know, with one game under your belt, if you're, you're NFA and St. Bernard's coming out, and this is their first, very first game, it's, you know, it's that lack of timing. It's the lack of execution. It's a lack of practice. It's, it's a little bit of everything, and you see it. And we, we talked about this the other night with Coach Gomez on the girls' side. If this was a regular season, Casey, we'd be a week away from the ECC tournament. You know, it's, it's, you know, or two weeks away, you know, end of February, heading into March. So this is the beginning of the season when normally it's mid-season. Listen, we're happy to be back on the court, but I, I think for a lot of these teams, they're going to figure things out early. Well, I mentioned something in the first half, and I got confirmation from a former high school basketball coach. Yeah. The, the, a brilliant, brilliant coach in his own right. Uh, who, Is that your dad? Yeah. Okay. Uh, who, mess who messaged <laughs> and, and basically uh, confirmed <laughs> what I was saying in the first half, which is uh. that St. Bernard's cannot continue to just lazily around the perimeter. Right. Uh, you have to attack the zone, and you have to attack it from the yeah. inside. And they're running that 3-2, and they got that great length. And what St. Bernard's has done, which is playing into the hands of that zone, is their, their, their two guards are too close together. Yeah. They've got to spread the guard out, and they've got to make... Yeah, open that up. Open that zone up and open up opportunities at the top of the circle. You get yes. the... Di you got the the, di the zone on... Yeah. A 3-2 is weak, baseline middle, because yep. they can't maintain. It's strong around the top. You got to hit a diagonal mm. and get that guy into space, and then at and, but then don't kick out for threes necessarily, yeah. because cutters on the, on the weak side are always available. As soon as you get that ball, cut weak side, right. and there's a layup. Right. Now let's go on the flip side. Let's talk about NFA real quick. They're coming off a 23-0 season last year, magical carpet ride for, you know, these Wildcats. And, you know, how is it – how do you think Coach Juicy feels with trying to piece things together and figure things out? Is, I mean, last year I'm sure the expectations were high here at the academy. Um, how does a coach, I guess, manage his expectations of his team this early? Uh, it's a testament to Chris Giusti, and one of the reasons why he's a fabulous coach is he'll, he'll manage his expectations. He expects to win. Right. And he, he wants them to manage to figure out a way to do it. So, oh. you know, it's, it doesn't, matter that, you lost, answer, doesn't matter that you lost four of your starting five because right. one of them is injured or not playing. None of that matters. You got these are the play, players that need to play. All right, go Saints from the <laughs> – of course. It's gets the Belarian family. Yeah, we got to, you know. Yep. They're running it. I like that. Saint go gear, Saints. Yeah. Game day. We love it. Thank you very much. But, you know. I need a mask break. You need a mask break? I, I need a mask break. I just climbed the stairs. I just ran from the other side of the court to here. I like See, you don't – you sit here and you call the game. I hustle. I get down on the sidelines. 
I ran the baseline. I don't. I need a mask break. First of all, you're the eye candy of game day, which is why, I, which is why I let you go down there. And can I ever tell you that you've never looked better? Thank you. A mask really, a mask suits you. It really does. Um, well, I thought you said I'm down. I'm down 15 pounds. Well, I'm back you know, in the gym. Being a homeowner. I just bought a house. I mean, you know. I mean, yeah, stress. You're working 60 hours a week. That's it's right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Final Stress thought, is a final great thought way to, lose to, weight. To, to sum up the, on NFA and Juicy. Uh, you uh, know, you play with what you got, and you play the game you got. So, you know, St. Bernard's in the same boat as they are. There's no difference. Right. Not, there's no excuses. There's no ec managing expectations. They're still NFA. There's still the, the school with, you know, 16,000 kids or whatever <laughs> they have. I mean, he expects to win. Yeah. And as much, you know. And I love the, the, and he's right. Mark Jones is a fabulous coach, and this is a fabulous program. But the, is there a bigger example of the enrollments of two schools, St. Bernard's and NFL? No, I mean, it's not. It's, it's a huge difference. So Chris Giusti's not going to sit there and feel sorry for himself because he's lost a couple of guys. He's going to. He Nobody's going to feel win. sorry for him. No, Nobody. he expects him to win. No, no doubt about it. At the, at the half, Ledger over, excuse me, New London over Ledger, 30 to 28, and Waterford and Bacon Academy in a 22 to 19 battle. I, I could have a long basketball season with you if New London's actually good this year. Yeah, you know I, this could be a uh, a green and gold love fest in 2000. Do you remember what it was like the year that they were really good? The last time with, they with were, Seth Lake when they were and undefeated. Collins when they were undefeated. Yeah. You, oh. you, when they when they beat Ledger on that great in the C.J. Parker play at the end mm. of the game. I mean, you thought I was going to melt melt onto the court. Well, I mean, you had your green and gold tights on. I, mean, I never yeah. I never openly support the Whalers. You know, as far uh, as no. I don't ever wear green and gold, but I don't. I think at this point the secret's out of the bag. I mean, just so our listeners know, too, Martin, good look from the corner. Casey with the Wesley. <laughs> so we got to get that out of the way, too. The Wesley and grab. Out low, pull up, foul line, can't knock it down, and Samillion will push. Let's just see which team is more crisper coming out of the break here. You, by the way, you don't have to say more. Crisp, crisper. Crisper, yeah. Crisper, okay. in, in, crisper in, I got you. Just, just, you know, Thank you. Know. I'm in mid-season you know, Well, you know how I, you know how I knew, you know I, you know how I knew that? What's that? I went to Wesley. That's right. All right, so... <laughs> And I saw a backdoor cut that time by Bellarsen at the rim. And again, maybe a way to beat that zone is that, you know, stick the ball on the baseline. Let's make some moves down there. Find the middle, find the weak side cut. Yeah. And right now, Martin's got to try to find points, not settling for pounding. contested threes. Well, yeah. too much pounding of the basketball on Martin, too. Get it and go. Uh, I like the spin by Outlaw, but great defense. And a follow can't go. Outlaw will pull it up again. And it's a, right now, NFA, clearly the message to NFA was to crash the boards. Quick little three, no good from Similian, and a strong rebound by Martin. Listen, St. Bernard's is on a little 8-0 run here, going back to the first half to take the lead. Oh, strong to the basket is Francis with a left hand. <laughs> Mark Jones yelling at one of his players, you're guarding nobody. Your Olay defense, sports doctor defense. Olay. All right, now here's Take another way. Here's another way to tackle the three-two. Set a screen on the, set a yep. screen on one of the guys up top. But you got to, off of that. You got to attack the middle of the defense. You, the screen's great, but out, it was yeah, trying to look, trying yep. to look cross on the weak side. Yep. Martin hangs, can't finish, gets his own, and again can't knock it down. I'll tell you what, this rim over here is tough. Yep. Did you get out there and measure? Make sure it's regulation. That's right. 10 feet. Pacheco with the floater in the lane. You hear, you know. Yeah, brand new backboards and nets ah. here at the academy. You can see. I'm telling you, they're stiff. Look at a net in front of us right here. Look at this. Gorgeous. <laughs> a nice kick. Three strong. Martin with the rebound, though. You know, he wants to pull up a three. He wants to shoot that three. Here comes that high screen. Dump down, Pierre-Louis, kick back out, Martin, pump fake. Now the drive, big step, and yep. he banks it in. Good move that time by Martin, finishing at the rim. Six points for the senior guard. I think if you told Chris Giusti that Jared Martin would have six points in the third quarter, he'd think they were in big, big trouble, and instead they have a one-point lead. Because... He can catch fire in a hard Yep. Beat. Wheeler, four goes, one three, misses the other. A one and done that time by St. Bernard. You see what the Saints are doing though, they're, tra they're trying to trap the rebound. Anytime, especially when Pierre-Louis gets the ball, mm. trying to trap him, make him make a decision. 
Also prevents him from running the floor. A stop ball. Grover Boone. Great defense, Pacheco again. Yeah, he's a handful out there. Timeout, NFA. And again, I think a lack of movement there on the offensive end. You've got to you know, just got to go back to the basketball. Game day is brought to you by Water for Dental Health. At Water for Dental Health, your smile and your health are our top priority. Great smiles start here at Water for Dental Health. You know, I said a thing there where you, you just, as a coach, where you're getting two or three minutes in coming out of the break, Casey, and you're... Your team is not responding and just address it right then and there. You know, what do you got to lose? Call timeout, kind of straighten things out a little bit. Both teams are suffering from the inability to attack the opposing team's defense. They're mm. settling for, in NFA's case, dribbling, right, and three-point shots. Right. In St. Bernard's case, swinging it and three-point shots. Sure. The way to attack both is north-south. Yeah. Stop, you know, the east-west yeah. has to stop. Yeah. You gotta come north-south, and so there's, there's lots of ways of doing it. You can, whether it's screens you know, or not, but you gotta find a way to attack. Yeah, a little too much pounding of the basketball by Jared Martin on the offensive set by, by NFA. You know, once that high screen comes, use it, or get rid of the basketball. The, the, the pounding is, is, I hate that. Like I said, make your move. North-south, get to the rim, be productive. The thing is, St. Br Bernard's playing man-to-man. -man. It's not yeah. hard. It's not hard to free somebody up in man-to-man. No, -man. no, it's not. But he, if he stays, he should be running baseline. He should be coming That's off right. of high, low screens down there. He should run off a curl. I'd like to see him run off a curl at the elbow. Get him a, you know, get him a look at the elbow. There's a little down screen that time by Boone to try and free up Martin. There it goes. On the cue. Dump into Outlow, spin, hangs. And we're going to get a foul on the floor, and Outlow will shoot two. Well, that's a good aggressive move, though, by Outlow. That's a, you know, just get the basketball and make something happen. Seal a defender off with your body, turn, and then a little six-foot hook or jump shot. Get yourself to the line for two. Coach Jones wants a carry. Says Outlaw is... That's what you want. And listen, if you're, if you're a big man or if you're a forward, that's where you want the basketball. You know, six or seven feet from the rim and make a play. Well, a couple of things that you should know. As a, as a sophomore, he's got some skills, but you got to assume he's going to spin to a strong hand. Yes. Overplay him. Don't yep. let him spin right on you. Make yeah. him go back your left. Checo in the corner, Belarjan fakes the three, now shoots it. No good, strong rebound. And a push from Grover Boone. He loses it to Similian. Similian up and scores. Well, you called that too. You called that two possessions ago. As soon as NFA gets the basketball, St. Burns is trying to turn it over and double team, and that time a triple team. Boone's gonna have some help. He's gotta go back to the ball. Well, he's, you know, the uh, Similian is really, really good with his hands. Does a nice job, dump down, there's Outlow, look, spin right, right, there it is. And that, that's a bull in a china shot move there, that's good defense. That's a tough travel. Similian goes to the floor, they're calling for the travel and he's, they're gonna. Mark Jones asked the question, how is it a travel? And coming down on somebody else's leg or they're take a mass attend break to, Attend to Similian right now. And they're gonna take a mass break. So while they're doing that, we're gonna send it out and we'll come back on the other side. You're watching Game Day Live on theday.com. Publishing Company. If you'd like to support Game Day and help us continue to bring you the best in Connecticut high school sports, please consider purchasing a print or digital subscription to The Day at theday.com slash subscribe. We're back and Similian is going to take a break and he's sitting off on the side. A friend of mine is watching. He says, uh, tell Casey I went to AIC and was an English major for two years. Okay. So, well, I'm and just saying. More crispier or crispier? You said more, more crisper. You said more crispier. That is not. <laughs> so you're, oh, you're, there's a walk there by Boone. More thank crisper. You. Thank more you. More crisper. Thank you, Peter. More crisper. 
all the way to the basket, can't finish is Wheeler. And Boone steps in front. He'll look to push. Finds Pierre Beautiful Louis, play. a little alley-oop for two. Yeah, that's the recognition that time by Boone, feeding the big man at the rim. I like that push, 13 points for Max Pierre Louis. And Pacheco out of control that time, throws it away. And MFA back with a three-point lead in the ball. 13 for Coach Bakulis. That's two touchdowns and a kick an extra point. I like that. Wait a minute. He, and what about the other extra point? Nah, you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Yeah, you mentioned Boone that time. Good recognition. Yeah, with, with I, yeah. Good look. Good push. Athleticism. Keep the big man early. happy, Casey. Feed him a little bit the rim. Get these guys some touches. Well, St. Bernard's going to go back into a little bit of a matchup zone here. Come off there man to man. There's a nice open look for Martin. He is having a rough game. Wheeler gives it up to Pacheco. Pacheco pulls up for three. Short rim underneath. Blocked by Pierre Louis. He's got numbers ahead. Oh. Boone went to the floor and traveled. He slipped. And then the ball hit him in the head afterwards for a little insult to injury. Big Patrick Daly coming into the game for St. Bernard's. Sophomore. I think this is, uh, I talked to Mark Jones before the game. This is his third trip back to NFA as far as coaching goes. Third trip, four year player here. Uni University of Dayton. Pacheco turns it over. Up ahead it goes, Pierre Louis to Martin. Finishes and the NFA extends the lead. Now St. Bernard's wants to push the other way with Wheeler. Nifty drive, scoop shot is good. How did he make it his way through the bigs? Tice showing the goods. Tyson Wheeler under the basket. Comfortable underneath Pierre Louis. Cut. Oh, that's a great Outlow pass. missed the bunny, but it's Pierre Louis with a follow. And right now, NFA is working it. Bob Jones out. wants to talk about it a little bit. You know, that time down the floor, Casey, you saw a little bit of the size advantage with, with Outlow and Pierre-Louis at the rim. A little give and go, a little miss on the, uh, on the layup, but a little cleanup action by Pierre-Louis. So NFA right now, a little bit of space right now, 36-31. Be a good opportunity to remind our folks at home that we, you know, we want to see where you're watching the game from. We want to <laughs> see who has the best virtual fan section. And if you're a member of the NFA student section or the St. Bernard's student section, I know you're not in the gym right now and that disappoints you. I want to see some creativity out there. Let's go. Let's get some tweets going. Let's get some love going from our student section. So if you're a part of NFA or St. Bernard's student sections, let's go. Send those tweets in. Rep your school, rep your group. Mm. You'd be here in person if you could, but instead, let's see what you got. Yeah. Now, is, is uh, quick question, sidebar from the game. Is Tyson's dad still at UMass? He is, Mike. He's, okay. he's on the bench at UMass. Only time in his life he's ever been on the bench. <laughs> that, kid, that, kid, nice. that, that kid could play from the time he yeah. got, out of, got out of his crib. Long three, Wheeler, no good. Pierre Louis, and NFA's going to run again. He got numbers. Martin stepped back long two, short. Outlaw with the follow and the finish. Yeah, he's played a very, very good third quarter, Outlaw. Working, you mentioned that, out working, second chance scoring opportunities. Running the floor, getting rewarded, rewarded himself right there. Wheeler goes baseline, swings, Pacheco, left hand in the lane, can't finish. Pierre Louis, nice job getting that ball out so the Wildcats can run. Martin for three, short. Boone in the lane, back to Martin. Martin is having as bad a shooting night as he can have. Just not able to knock down the open shot. Under 30 seconds, a seven point lead for the Wildcats and they want to take the last shot. So, Similian has the task of guarding Martin. 10 seconds though, there goes Martin. 
intercepted by the Saints. Wheeler, five seconds, spins, gets a shot off. Long three at the buzzer, got it! Tyson Wheeler knocks down a triple at the buzzer and brings St. Bernard's to within four at the end of quarter number three. We'll be back for fourth quarter action. You're watching Game Day live on the day.com. Okay, class. What do you want to be when you grow up? Jace. I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be a ballerina. I want to be an astronaut. I want to be homeless. I want to hear scary voices no one else can hear. I want to be addicted to drugs. I want to be an actress. I want to be a YouTuber. Not one child has dreams of these things becoming a reality. Sometimes choices are set before we even have a voice. With Sound Community Services, I found my voice. Sports doctor, well, Coach, Coach Mark Jones. You got a big three-pointer there heading into the break. How do you carry that momentum here to, into the fourth quarter and try to close this game out? Well, we just got to push the ball more, and we got to keep those guys off the glass. Outlaw two straight times getting offensive rebounds uh, it just kills us. All right, good luck again, Coach, down the stretch. Thank you. All right. Momentum on the St. Bernard side as they cut it to four. Tyson Wheeler with a long three-pointer, and he was pumped about that. Exactly what... They needed it because they have the basketball now and a four-point deficit. So that was a huge basket by Wheeler. Long three from Pacheco. Got it! And just like that, the Saints are within one. A 6-0 run. Frankie goes three ball. Momentum is a fickle thing, and the way they can shoot the three ball, they're never really out of it, are they? And there's a turnover in the other direction. Pacheco pushing now, pushing hard. Tried to get it down into Bellarjan. The better option would have been Wheeler. But St. Bernard's with the ball was tipped. And it was tipped by them. NFA basketball. I mean, it clearly was tipped. I, mean, oh. I like that by Grover Boone. There's a kick for three. Finally, we went shopping at J-Mart. Three ball, Jared Martin. Clean look, knocked it down from the corner. 11 points for number 11, the senior. Pacheco with a floater, can't get it to go. And we're gonna get over the back, Francis. And the Saints will have the possession. You know, so maybe now in the fourth quarter, this game opens up a little bit. What do you think? I think they're gonna be so tired, you might, they might, have, you might <laughs> it might naturally happen. Belarjan, quick trigger three, back no good, and Martin pulls down the rebound. And you see Samillion trying to pressure him, but Martin breaks pressure. Back up top now, Martin spins, stutters, hangs in the air, and scores at the rim. A uh, big time move that time by Martin. He's gonna start cooking a little bit. Senior knocked down a three, takes it to the 10. And you talk about kids stepping up and making plays, Casey. He's going to have to do it for Chris Giusti and this Wildcat team. Is it back to six again? The Saints keep getting it close, and NFA has an answer. Pacheco, ball tipped, dumped down inside. There's the trap, and back out to Pacheco again. Swing the basketball. Challenge, there's a good challenge by Pacheco. Kick out wide open, Wheeler for three, no good. Strong rebound by Outlow. They'll run, Boone. Lumbers. Martin foregoes the three. Floater in the lane. Attention, J-Mart shoppers. Heat available as Jared Martin is on fire. And a timeout by Mark Jones, looking for a carry there. Not gonna get it, coach. 15 points 
for Jmart. Remember we said in the third quarter, well, let's be, to be, to be clear, I, I said it, Sports. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That, you know, he only had six points and they were they were only uh, – Yeah, they were down one or up one. Yeah, and, and I yeah. said that's, you know, for Coach Juicy, like that's – Yeah. Because he's going to get hot. Right. Uh, he's getting yeah, hot. Yeah, yeah. We have another photo coming in. College is temporary, but being a saint is forever. Nate Avery, you know, we've been talking about you, big man. Uh, you're, you're, you were on the floor for four years, and we saw you an awful lot. And you know what? It's noticeable that you're not out here, man. It's good to see you. Nate Avery shouting out on game day. The mask break. Sorry about that. That's all right, sports doctor. You know, but in all, in all seriousness, you can't keep Jared Martin from scoring. And as the fatigue starts to set in, you start getting, you notice the, the, the defense is like just a half easing a step, up. Yeah. yeah, half a step late. Yeah. And, you know, when you – plus the other thing, too, is when you hit that first three ball from the corner like he did on that clean look, now the whole bag of tricks starts opening up a little bit. Now I've got confidence, you know, the, you're going to run out of me and cover me on the three-point line? Well, I'm going to take it to the rim a little bit. I, the whole repertoire yeah. kind of opens up a little bit. Once the score gets moving, Casey, it's very hard Absolutely. to keep in check. And I, I, I think that was the, the most impressive thing was after he nailed the three, the next possession, hard to the right basket. Right to the rim, yeah. Yep. You know, that, now, now you're a scorer that makes things difficult. Right, right. Big possession here for the Saints. Three-point line, you can overplay me, or I'm going to take it to the rim. Pacheco picked his dribble up. Now he's in some yeah. trouble. Saints need a basket. Something fierce down eight right now. Pacheco looking for the screen. Dribble penetration. Hangs in the air. Can't finish. Out low, and there's that... Hard defense, Wheeler stops ball, but Boone, Grover Boone did a nice job heading back to the middle of the floor. Martin's got Wheeler on Saint him. They Martin's should clear out. The man. Yep, there goes Martin. Wheeler can't handle that. Wheeler's just not quick enough laterally to handle Jared Martin. Up ahead, though, Wheeler can find Bellarjan for uh, two. He talked about the court vision, but they saw it, the touchdown pass, the Bellarjan running the floor. Yeah, he, kid, kid sees the floor. He sees it. Lead is six. But it's a mismatch when they get Wheeler on Martin, they got to give him some help because yeah. Martin's just so quick off the dribble. You know what, Pacheco, I mean, Pacheco is the rare person that can handle him laterally. Out low, overplayed nicely. Pacheco picks his pocket. That's a Gretz great defense. Great defense by Pacheco right there. He knew Outlaw was going to go to a strong hand. Right, and that's the inexperience of Outlaw too. Like you said, you, you know, the bull in a china closet type of move. You know, turn and face the basket or hit that hard jab step and just get to the rim. Just to be clear, I, I think it's Bull in a China shop. China closet. But a China closet. China closet. China closet. I mean, a Bull in a China closet. How do you get in there in the first place? Thanks, Stop. Pacheco kicks. Wheeler for three. No good. Big, oh, the bounce. He almost got it to go, but couldn't get the friendly bounce off the rim. There's those new rims. Martin, the other way. Ball tipped. And all oh, the left hand. Jaden Francis at the rim. I love picking on you, sports doctor. Thanks, Keith. Similian three straight away, no good. Rebound Outlaw. He has been a monster on the boards. Boone. We're going to get a charge. Nice job. Belarjan stood in the lane, took the charge from Grover Boone. Saints down eight with a basketball. Ledger and Jabari Jones, one of the people we talked about as player of the year candidate, they trail by seven to his former school, New London. And we got a mask break, so we'll take a break and we'll be right back. Fourth quarter's winding down. You're watching Game Day Live on theday.com. to you by Waterford Dental Health. At Waterford Dental Health, our entire team is dedicated to providing you the personalized, convenient, and affordable dental care you and your family deserve. Waterford has opened up a 20-point lead, 41-21 over Bacon Academy. That's almost at the end of the third period. So what does Nate Avery and Tim Duncan have in common? No, they're both at Wake Forest. No, I thought they were going to see when they both played center. But uh, yeah, absolutely. How about, they were how about both Greg Keith? Greg Keith spent a little time at Wake Forest. Right? Yes, yes, and if another NFA, NFA guy, uh, yeah. guy. Transferred out to Fairfield afterwards. 
Eight point Saints deficit, they have the ball, they need a basket. Pacheco and Similian now back to Pacheco. Wheeler wants it on the opposite side. He's been feeling those three balls. He's clapping and his hands. Nice job here by Martin extending out of that zone to keep the ball from going to Wheeler. Long three from Pacheco is no good. Boone rebounds and we're gonna get a foul on Wheeler. And I, and I will say, not only are the Saints going after the rebound, you know, the, the ball handler with the mm. rebound, they're definitely physical. Yes. Yep. Now they're in a little bit of full court pressure, man pressure. Three minutes now in the ball game. Martin goes left at the screen from Outlaw, pulls up at the foul line. I think that ball got tipped. Pacheco tries to split a double team and we're going to get a foul. Tough, tough spot for Pacheco. A little one on three action there. Trying to force something, make something happen. You know, we talked about fatigue being a factor. Pacheco doesn't get tired. No, he's been on the floor the entire game. I mean, most of these guys have played the entire game. The, the, the main four, Belarjan for three. Good. Had a nice game. 14 points for Walker Belarjan. That cuts the lead to five. But you know, the, the main guys, the Pacheco, Belarjan, Similian, and Wheeler really haven't come off the floor. No. Belarjan came off briefly because of he tweaked his leg. Uh, and you've also seen quite a you know, uh, Brassaw has split a little bit of time with Malls and Daly, but those other four haven't Yeah, left they, they've been staples. They've been, you know, the, the NFA bench is a little bit deeper, but you know, St. Bernard's is not deep at all. Four St. Bernard's players have scored points tonight. Yeah, the four. The, the, yeah, the, the four starters. Yeah. The, you know that yep. front four of them. Mm -hmm. And on the other side of things, you know, uh, Boone Boone's been on the floor a lot, but has come off some. Pierre Louis's been on the floor, but has come off some. Martin's been on the floor yeah. most, but has come off some. Not so, low. Yeah, some the changeable parts over there. Yeah, because Francis has played, and uh, they've gotten some Martin minutes out of him. We've seen Hay, uh, Benoit. So yeah, NFA a little bit deeper with the amount of people they have played. Big defensive uh, possession right here for the Saints. They need a, a defensive stop or a turnover, and NFA needs to protect the basketball. And I know the sports doctor loves his late game free throws. That is definitely, that'll come into play oh. here. Oh. 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 Pacheco back on Martin. Now he switches off on Boone. Francis. Martin picks it up, pulls up, blocked by Similian. They're going to get him with the uh, body. M Martin will shoot two. A tough foul on Simeon. That's a tough call. That's a tough call. I'll tell you the one I don't like. The NBA, when they stick their leg, when they shoot the ball and yeah, they, they, they stick yeah, their leg out. I don't out. like that. I just, I find that to be, uh, when the NBA start flopping on jump shots like they're playing European soccer, that's a problem. I have a hard time watching the NBA. Martin's going to put his mask up a little bit. Yep. One more for Martin. They called 17 points to lead the Wildcats tonight. Senior player. Big two free throws lead back to seven. As we tick down towards two minutes, Saints are going to need offense and a turnover. Seven's a tough number. Pacheco, jump stop, kick out to Wheeler. Now Similian drives. They had the pass underneath, and we're going to get a foul, it looks like, on the floor. No, they're going to say that Belarjan was on the line. What do we got? They're going to say Belarjan was on the line when he laid down. So Pierre Louis will take it now. Martin and Pacheco's on him. And there's a turnover as Belarjan up ahead to Pacheco to Wheeler. And he misses the layup. And he's devastated because there were two points you can't have back. There's a trap. And we're going to get a timeout by Coach Giusti. The Saints had exactly what they wanted. And like you said, first game of the year, fatigue sets in. Yeah, they're getting tired out there a little bit. Sometimes even the layups. 49-42, NFA on top of St. Bernard's. 
You're watching Game Day live on theday.com. Casey O'Neill and the sports doctor, Keith O'Brien. And uh, does it feel different with no fans here? I think, the, I think that this game feels a little different. The boys game. No. You know, it doesn't feel different? It, it, well, yeah, it feels different, but no, no more different than the yeah. girls game felt because there aren't people here. But there are more people here than there were at the girls game because right. there's like 10 extra players. But, you know, I made the comment in the girls game, and I actually got some feedback from uh, a couple of my, uh, my, my buddies who agreed, which was, you know, we, do the, play, the only person people it feels really different from for is us. The players don't notice it. The s as second yeah. as the game starts, they don't notice it at all. Where you start to notice it um, is those moments where the crowd, you know, you, they're that energy, that crowd. Yeah, that little bit of a run maybe your team could get on. Or and you can feel the it. the student but, sections. But this is their new normal right now. Yeah. So there's, they're not, you know, if they played yesterday with 3,000 and today with nobody, it would feel right. a lot more pronounced. Pacheco doing a great job. He's hounding Martin. Martin spins. Coach Juthi says, Tit, make them come out and play us. And there's the foul as Similian goes out. He fouls Grover Boone. And I believe they'll be in the one and one. And that's going to be five on five. Similian. So they're going to lose the scintillating sensational sophomore Cedric Similian, but evidently it's not because he's staying oh. on the floor. So it was all lies, sports doctor. Misinformation. And there's a five-second uh, call on Martin, and Coach Juicy's not not pleased. Well, pounding the basketball. All right, 121. If you don't get a basket and a turnover, you're going to lose this at war of attrition with free throws and players. Right. There's only 14 fouls on St. Bernard's too. There's a three. Frankie goes three ball, cuts it to four. Now you need the turnover. Where's the trap going to come from? Nowhere. Martin spins off. You had to have you, you had to, you had to have a trap no. somewhere. Because now you're gonna have to foul. A great screen from Outlaw. There's got to be a trap. Uh, nice job out. You know, Boone just had a, a layup. I, I think no Coach Jones it. is calling for a trap too. Yeah, they, but see now you're down under 45 seconds. You just you didn't you didn't foul. You have to if you know you don't have fouls, either right. you have to trap and pressure or foul. Otherwise, what are you doing? You're just chasing the basketball for 30 still seconds. Still two more fouls to give before they're at their free throw line. They should be holding the guy right now. Right. Yeah, hold, hold him. Hold that. Hold, again. Tick, tick, right tick, now, tick, there's tick, got to be tick, a trap tick. right now. Tick, 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 tick. And they call the nickel dimer on Wheeler in the backcourt. Well, I mean, he I, I understand. He that. held him like he stole something from him, sports stuff. Oh, nickel dimer. Yeah, look, he, he stole the nickel and dime. The guy was trying to hold on to him. Oh. 42 seconds remaining. They still got to inbound it again. You wanted to know what was going to be different without the fan sports doctor. It's me picking on you even more. Oh, great look underneath. Pierre Louis, the easy basket. Belarjan for three, short. Belarjan got hit on that shot, too. So. Yep, rebound by. Belarjan got hit. He's. They got Colby Quinn in the ball game for the Saints for the purposes of fouling. And he does. He'll foul Martin with 25 seconds essentially, but all of a sudden, a couple of free throws and this thing is going to get out of hand. Six point lead. One and one, huge one and one here for Jared Martin. Similian will come back in and Colby Quinn will come out of the game, but he got in the box score. With a foul. The, the, the detailed box score, you know, the, the extended box, the extended box score. First free throw for Martin. No good. Belarjan with the rebound. And he throws it away. We're going to get a foul on the backside with Wheeler with 18 seconds remaining. All right, so here we go. We got 18 seconds left. NFA is going to put this game on ice and, you know, go back into the winning column. They lost the other night to New London. But, you know, we're. Where do you think, and I had a chance to talk to Coach Schusty before the game, where do you think NFA will be, say, game six, game seven versus now? Uh, I think How much are, of a different team would it be? There'll be much better. Don't forget, again, Connor Ulrich is not playing. Right. If he gets back on the floor, that's a huge difference. That's a veteran offensive player, too. 
uh, I think you're going to see, you know, they just, unlike the Saints, who will, who will get better, the Saints will get better by virtue of just playing more basketball. Cause yeah. But NFA will get better because these guys have to get to know each other. What I think is interesting is I think there's five teams you can throw a blanket over right now. Right now, if New London continues this, this effort and beats, hmm. Le beats Ledger, and New London beats NFA and Ledger in their first two games. Well, a little chemistry now in New London, too. The players are getting along, playing each other, you know, with each other very well. And they're trying to find the team in the in the league, right? So if New London opens up with mm. wins over over Ledger, who was we thought was going to be NFA. good. And NFA. And NFA. And we see them on Friday night. And then, yeah, I mean, that's against a, Waterford. Yeah. Waterford, who, by the way, if they continue there to win over Bacon, they get two undefeated teams. Yeah. Uh, great job by Martin saving it. Seven seconds remaining and a seven point lead and these free throws will ice it here for NFA. As the sports doctor mentioned, we'll be back Friday night for the New London High School Whalers boys at the Waterford Lancer boys in what should be a fun battle between two teams off to very good starts here in the early going. First free throw by Hay is no good. One more for J.J. Hay. Pacheco, eight point lead for the NFA Wildcats. Pacheco drives to the basket, little left-handed scoop shot will be good at the buzzer. And your final score is in the NFA Wildcats with a 53-47 win to earn them their first victory of the season. Uh, the Wildcats move to one and one, the Saints fall to 0 and one in a battle of what was last year's Division II and Division I champions. The sports doctor will have Coach, Coach Chris Giusti with us first. Sports doctor, the coach is one and one. What do you got? Coach, well, you know, a bit of a come out in the second half. You guys seem to play a little more aggressive. You get your first win under your belt. Uh, from game one to game two, how do you feel right now? I mean, it's still a work in progress, like right. we talked about at the beginning. He's going to get that team doing a lot different things when we see him in March. Every team's going to be different in March. The teams that look good now might ne not necessarily look good in March because once you get used to playing under the lights, these are bright lights. They've always been bright lights here sure. at Alumni Gym. So they got, kids got to get used to that. They haven't been playing for so long. You know, obviously we're happy to have a win, but we have a lot to work on just as much as every other team. Coach, you've got some people up on the front line, whether it was out low tonight or Max Pierre-Louis, hitting the boards, crashing, and creating second chance scoring opportunities. Is that important for this particular that, team? Right now, that's our best offense. Right. You know, with only, you know, a handful of in-person practices under our belt. I, I keep telling these guys, I, we have like two plays. And, the, and just go get it, you know, make sure you get a shot up. That's why you see me, uh, you know, I'm losing my mind when we turn the ball over, get a shot up. Let's just use our size to try and get it offensive put back. That was probably uh, your color commentary tonight, uh, the difference in the game. Sure, and then, you know, talk about the luxury of having a senior like Jared Martin when, you know, he seems to hit that big three ball from the corner. Yeah. Gets himself going a little yeah. bit. Talk about having, you know, him as a player in his senior year. Yeah, I mean, he's a great shooter and he mm. has to remember that uh, all great shooters have bad memories so that they don't remember right. that they missed the last one. They just got to keep shooting and he, he can't get in his head. And, and he, he knows that. Right, you and I talked before the game, you talked about this team could be, you know, I don't know what we have right now, but in March, we're going to be a lot better. Absolutely, as with every team. So sure. that's the caveat. Every team's going to be better, but I like what we got. As I've always said, we're NFA. We were good last year. We'll be good this year. We'll be good next year. We, we just got to keep getting better. One thing that never lets me down, coach, is you are dressed to the nines again tonight. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, I mean, you, I mean, and I know you every coach, you have the mask, you have the tie, you have uh, the shoes, it's all working for you right now. Every coach in the, in the ECC appreciates you guys for what you do for our student athletes. You really make them feel like they're on SportsCenter, like they're on ESPN. And, uh, you know, I think our communities need that right now. And so kudos to you and your staff, Sports right, Doctor. We'll see you down the road. Casey. Thank you. Thank you, Sports Doctor. You know, that's why this program is in such great hands, because the expectations are winning. Let's bring in senior Jared Martin. Not the best night, Sports Doctor, but he turned it all around, got a win. Well, he's the Waterford Dental Health player of the game, and underneath the mask, tugging around all smiles, Jared Martin, 18 points tonight. You started a little slow. You hit a big three-pointer from the corner. You really seem to get your, your legs underneath you a little bit in the offensive end. Talk about that stretch during the game. Um, we started out slow, turning over the ball and stuff. But... I had to like get my teammates involved more. 
I was missing all my shots, so I just had to find my teammates to get me going. Right. Were you a little frustrated in, say, the first quarter? I mean, Pacheco was guarding you pretty close. Yeah. He was taking your space away. So how do you work through that as a player? I just got to find other things. Like, if I'm getting locked up, I just got to take charges, pass the ball more, and it'll come back to me. I wasn't getting my looks, but I just kept working, and I got some. You know, and talk about this team this year. Last year, obviously, guys, the magical ride, 23-0. and You know, everything's different this year. How good can this team be? We got a lot of work to improve, but we can be as good as last year, even better. We just got to pick up more turnovers and do more things, but we're, we're coming better. And, you know, lastly, too, how is it affect, you know, do you guys feel it with no fans in the gym? Or once you get on the court, you're all business? If our team on the side and the bench brings the energy, it feels like we're, like last year, a game. It's not as loud, but if they clap in defense and stuff, it all works out. And our coaches and stuff, they help us out with that. So the energy comes from the teammates. Waterford, dental health player of the game. Listen, stay healthy. Good luck down the road, and we'll see you next time. All right, see you guys. Case? Yeah, sports doctor. That's the second second uh, player that has said they get their energy from the bench and from their teammates. Well, we get our energy from them. And Coach Juicy and Jared Martin are back in the win column, 23 straight last year, opening night loss to New London. But they're back in the win column, and I think you hear the hunger in both of their voices that uh, the expectations have not changed. I don't think they have. Like you said, this is NFA. We expect to win last year, this year, next year. It doesn't matter, you know, who's out there on the court. And, um, you know, I, I like that approach, you know, and it, it, that's that's how you got to be when you're at a big school like this. And like I said, nobody is going to feel bad for NFA. No. Nobody's going to feel bad because Mason Jackson went on to prep school. And, you know, nobody's going to feel bad because it's during this times. I mean, you got to play the game. And um, I, I like the way NFA closed out tonight. Does that make sense, the last say, six yeah. or seven minutes of the game? Yeah. They uh, they finished the game. They uh, Although they didn't make – Nearly as many free throws right. as you'd like them to. They rebounded. They were. Uh, def they turned St. Bernard's sure. over. Sure. Uh, I, I agree. They fi they finished the game uh, very well. I think St. Bernard's. I think you know, Coach uh, Juicy said it. You know, this team's going to get a lot better. It was their first game of the season. There's a long way to go. Uh, they're they're too good. That front four is too experienced and too good. But we got to remember, you know, Wheeler and uh, Similian are sophomores. Yeah. You know, so they're still young. Just because they played last year, I mean, they're still young kids, and they'll get better. Uh, I, I think the basketball is only going to get better. I look forward to the games we do yeah. as the season goes on to just see the improvement in everybody. Uh, and, you know, all of a sudden that game Friday night. Well, it looks, looks pretty uh, pretty sexy, doesn't it? It's going to yeah, be the undefeated first. Undefeated Waterford team versus a New London team. And, you know, you know, a little bit of life and yeah. a little bit of juice at the X. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what Chop Parker has got up his sleeve. Well, you know, if everyone keeps, t you know, no one wrote. Waterford into the into that top tier, but we said they're two-time defending state champions. They still haven't yeah. gone anywhere yet. Good coach, good program, good yeah. pedigree. Yeah. They and another you're talking about a team that expects to win. Don't tell anyone there. No. That that they're not that they're not good because they're not going to believe that. Right, so right, right. the idea of an undefeated New London, undefeated Waterford for the right to be the you know maybe the last undefeated team in the in the up you know Fitchest. I still think Fitch. We yeah. forget how good yeah, Fitch was last year. Ledger two in overtime to start the season. So yeah, well, let's not forget how good Fitch was last yeah. year. Yep. Now they lost down the stretch. They, they were really they, good. They lost, you know, some of their big players. Uh, but I think the league's wide open, and the basketball is only going to get better. And we look forward to having it all for you. All right, we'll see you uh, Friday night. Weather permitting, is that this is the story? Or yeah, we're going to be fine. Okay. <laughs> for the sports doctor Keith O'Brien, I'm Casey O'Neill. For Peter Wappy and the gang, thank you all very much. You've been watching Game Day live on the Day.com.